Hi everyone, it's Megan and today I have a trip announcement. <laughs> we are going to Walt Disney World. Actually, when you are watching this vlog, I am putting this up. If you're watching this on October 22nd, when I put this video up, I am currently en route to the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. This trip, oh my goodness, this has been so long awaited for. So yes, I'm coming at you today with a trip announcement, a long awaited for trip announcement. So basically, we are going to Walt Disney World for the end of October here. We are leaving October 22nd and we are coming back on like November 2nd, like the first few days in November. Kind of going to be like 9, 10-ish days. Um, it will actually be 11 days in total that we're gone and the reason for that is because we are driving again this time so it's gonna be another Disney World road trip series so I have a lot of details that I want to share with you about this trip and this vacation so let's just go ahead and jump right into it but that's the exciting news we're going to Disney World Disney World 2020 it is happening you know we had a lot of um, bumps in the road to get here <laughs> wondering would we make it happen for this year and we're making it happen so we're going and of course I'm going to be vlogging the vacation so I'm taking you along with me and I am very very excited for this journey this is long overdue and long awaited for we all really need this vacation so basically let's go back a couple months um we were scheduled to go to walt disney world in may of this year may of 2020 for our we usually always like to do our spring vacation to disney so we had that trip booked and unfortunately like so many other people i'm sure um that vacation had to be canceled due to the parks being shut down during that time. We all know the saga of what happened this year. I won't go into that and bore you with those details. Mickey's gonna tell you about it too. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Are you down to tell the people? Meow, yeah, come on up. Film a video together. There we go. Now I have my filming buddy all as well. So yeah, that trip got canceled back in May and we've been waiting and trying to figure out when the best time was going to be to go back to the parks you know it was kind of hard to plan this trip because there was just so many things that changed you know pretty much overnight all the time with just we when the park was going to open all this stuff but the parks have been open since back in july and we have kept up with we watch all of our disney vloggers and everything that we love and have seen what the parks look like and everything in disney i just have to take a second to say that they have done such an incredible job with just keeping the park safe and all the guests safe with the social distancing measures that they've put into place the different protocols mickey's just like telling a story down here <laughs> but um yeah definitely feel safe about going and I'm just so excited to get back to my favorite place because it has now actually been a full, it's gonna be a full year since I've been in a Disney park because the last time that me and my family were there was last October, which I actually, at the time of uploading this, I haven't yet gotten to those vlogs. Um, the vlog series that I'm uploading right now is my first trip uh, with my fiance, Danny, that we were on. That was back in August of last year, 2019. The next trip that you will see from me was my October trip with my family, my parents at Walt Disney World. So you will then see that trip series from October of last year that is coming here on the channel. That was the last time that I was actually in the Disney parks. I was briefly at Walt Disney World in January for a work trip that I had um, in Fort Lauderdale and then I ended up segueing up to Orlando and snuck in a few days at Walt Disney World, um, but I didn't, at that point, my annual pass had lapsed, so I didn't have park tickets. Mickey. Mickey, our suitcases are out, and he's, I think, just noticed them. That's why he's, like, having a whole little investigation down here. But, um, yeah, so I didn't have park tickets, so I ended up just, like, doing some resort hopping. That I checked out the new Riviera Resort, rode the Skyliner around. So I have been to Disney World within this year. I've been in 2020, back in January. But, um, like I said, that trip, I didn't go actually into the parks. So it has been a full year. It was last October that I was, like, in the parks. 
So yeah, just long, long awaited for this trip. Okay, so for the details of this vacation, we are going to Disney for, um, you know, the end of this month, the last kind of week in October leading into the first few days of November. This vacation is going to definitely be a unique one for us. I think everything just about, you know, this year is unique and you know things are different and we're adapting and going with it but i think the biggest thing about this trip that is going to be different from some of our other ones is that we're not doing um full like a full park vacation it's kind of hard to do that um with the current you know just system that disney has in place because they are having to limit the capacity in the park so in addition to you have your tickets to the parks you also have to have park pass reservations to get into the park that you're going to go into on a certain day and there's limits on um, how many of those you can have you know all that jazz because of that we currently have four day park tickets so we're going to be doing four days at the disney parks and then the other days we're going to be doing other things kind of around Orlando and also some things at Disney like we're probably going to be on Disney property the majority of the time but we're going to just be doing some other things that we want to explore around like things at the resorts some different dining reservations a lot of really cool stuff and it kind of presents us with a really exciting opportunity because me and my family we've been going to Disney you know for years ever since you know my parents have been going since their honeymoon and you know for years ever since they've been married and i've been going to disney since i was six years old and so you know it's we've been to disney so many times and every time that we go down to orlando we always like say things like oh we have to check that out sometime or like let's drive to this beach or let's drive over to this you know town and walk around see this community or something there's all these other things that we want to do in florida that are more so like florida things or orlando things and we never do them because we just when we get into the disney bubble like we are like disney you know all the time which is you know how we like things but um this kind of presents us with that opportunity that because of the fact we don't have tickets to go into the park every single day we have that flexibility to you know go to the beach for the day or go check out a local town in the central florida area and get up to some things there all the things that we always talked about doing and just never had the time for this trip is kind of presenting us with that opportunity that we now have the time to do it and i'm of course going to vlog all of those things as well here on the channel so i'm excited for what this trip is going to have in store it's definitely going to be different and unique and um i really just i can't wait to get to experience all of those things so now to get into a little bit more about that so yeah me and my family we have been annual pass holders to Walt Disney World for the last like 10 years and what we always do is like whenever our annual passes like expire instead of just renewing it right then if like we know our next trip is going to be you know five months away or something instead of having just that upfront cost of you know a thousand dollars a person or, you know whatever the current rate is that they're up to now instead of having that cost we then go ahead and just let it lapse and then renew it come like the first day of the next vacation we have planned so that then that way it's good from a year from that date so that was what we were going to be doing our annual passes you know had expired like the beginning of this year 2020 and we knew since we weren't going back to the parks and we had our may vacation booked we were planning to renew our passes when we got there in may so they'd be good from may 2020 to may 2021 well because of the shutdown and everything we are currently not annual pass holders for that reason disney is now not at the time of making this video is not currently selling new annual pass reservations if you had an annual pass before the shutdown you were like grandfathered into it but they haven't been selling new annual passes simply just because of having to limit you know how many guests are in the parks and everything um that's why we had to just go ahead and just buy those four day passes. Now, with that being said, Disney has started on a case by case basis. You could call the annual pass holder line and request to be on a wait list 
to talk to somebody about your options and they're kind of reviewing your history and if they did see that okay your annual pass expired like right before the shutdown they'll give you the chance to renew so we have been on that wait list for like a week and a half now and we're still waiting to hear from somebody so Send us some pixie dust our way with that because I really would love to. I'm ready to be an angle pass holder again. I just, it makes me happy just to have that. Even when I'm here in Pennsylvania, this is gonna sound crazy, but even when I'm sitting here in my home in Pennsylvania and I just have my Disney annual pass, even though I can't go into the park, just knowing that I can, like that it's just an option. Like if I could zap myself to Florida, that I can just go into a park whenever I want. It kind of just makes me feel good. Like, I love that. It's just, you know, it's the little things in life, it really is. But anyway, we would love to get our annual passes back. We were really hoping that we could have them back for this trip that we're going on right now, just to get the perks, you know, the discounts and everything. Presently, Disney World is actually doing a 30% merchandise discount, which they always would do 20% for annual pass holders on merchandise but now they're doing because they're you know trying to get more people buying the merch and everything they're giving everyone that's an annual pass holder 30 percent off additionally i just saw in epcot in the germany pavilion they opened the first ever like annual pass holder exclusive pop-up shop so all these things are like taunting me i'm like i want my annual pass back so hopefully we'll see if we'll get a magical moment and you know before we travel maybe even while we're traveling down there we'll get that call back from Disney and see if we can lock in um, upgrading these tickets that we have to an annual pass again. But anyway I'm sure that you know Disney will start selling annual passes again here in the future once things are getting back to normal and I cannot wait to buy it and then I am planning to do some more trips down throughout you know this new year and everything um it's gonna be very exciting so i'm just ready to get back to traveling it's just been so long awaited for now so i'm just like ready to when i see the castle again right now since you know over a year ago i am just going to explode i know i will <laughs> so a couple more details from this vacation like I said, we are going to be road tripping it. We are driving to Walt Disney World from Pennsylvania here where we live. So we have about a 14-ish hour drive. So we usually break it up over the course of two days. Our current plan, we are hoping to get our first day out to Savannah, Georgia. And also we are bringing, my mom is coming with us on this trip and um i know she's really excited because it's been um over a year for her too like a year and a half since she's been to walt disney world so this is going to be very exciting for her and she is very excited to see savannah so that's what we really want to try that first um travel day to make it all the way from here to savannah georgia and like stop overnight go to sleep and then wake up you know the next morning and have like a little bit of a savannah sightseeing morning and have like you know some breakfast maybe some lunch and then hit the road in the afternoon and from savannah it's then about like a five hour drive to get to orlando so that really is not bad for you know a second day of driving so that's why we'll figure we'll do a little bit of sightseeing in the morning and then finish the drive in the afternoon so that we can then get into our hotel we are staying at Wyndham reunion where we love to stay. I'll go ahead and link some videos I have from staying at Wyndham reunion. It is my family's like go-to place to stay. We love staying there in their villas that they have. It is beautiful. I just, I love the grounds there. I love the whole vibe of that resort is amazing. So we're staying there for a week and then the reason I have these magic bands right here so my parents, thank you so much to them. They actually surprised me with a Disney staycation added on to the end of our regular vacation that we had planned here. Yes, so my parents, it was so sweet of them. They surprised me for my birthday this year. Um, 
with added on to so i thought you know we were going to be in disney for you know the week like our week's vacation but then we're actually now staying our trip's like a friday to friday and now we're actually staying over the, the like the next weekend so we're gonna have two nights at a disney world resort and i am over the moon i cannot wait so i guess i will tell you the surprise of where we're staying we are going to be staying at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort, which is one of the Disney, it's a DVC resort. It's one of their deluxe resort properties. We've stayed here before. I've actually been here. This will be my third time staying at Saratoga Springs. I stayed there. The very first time I stayed there was actually, fun story, my very first time ever vlogging one of our Disney trips. So if you want a major throwback, that was in 2014, you can go ahead and I will link that playlist as well from, that was my very first time vlogging. And um, that was the resort that we were staying at for that trip. We stayed 10 days then at Saratoga Springs and it was incredible. We just love the location of that resort. It is located right across from Disney Springs. Like you, it's so close you can actually walk from the resort over to Disney Springs. So we would do that, me and my parents, like every day we'd wake up in the morning and just go for like a little exercise walk and it was like the most perfect thing some of the shops at disney springs were like just starting to open and we would just you know take like a leisurely stroll like all the way around and back over to the resort and start our day off that way sometimes we would stop off at some place in disney springs for some breakfast it's just really it's an awesome place to stay this trip is going to be incredible you know we have our Getting back into the Disney parks, you know, our Disney portion of the trip, like I said, on the days we're not in the parks, we're going to be doing some more things around property and also just around Florida and Orlando in general. And then ending it, capping it off with a Disney resort stay. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. So be sure you are subscribed here to my channel and hit that bell to put notifications on because I'm actually going to plan on doing some lives from Disney World. Also go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page. I will go ahead and link that down below and put my username right here. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure I'll also make like an announcement there of when I'm planning to go live. But yeah, I want to do some of my first ever. I've never done a YouTube live before, so I really want to do that for this trip and you know kind of take you around live time walt disney world or take you around the resort you know have a little stroll together i think that will be really fun so go ahead and click the bell on my channel so that you can see when i go live also while i have you here i want to go ahead and give a shout out to my sweet friend Alyssa. if you've seen my um videos from the two most recent um vlog series that i put up then you will know my friend Alyssa, my travel buddy she has been making mask chains. So basically what these are, I went ahead and ordered some from her. What these are is it's a chain, like a lanyard almost, that have little clasp at the end of them so that you can actually hang your mask from it. So it's really convenient to have in the parks. That way, you know, if you pull over to the side to eat or drink something, you don't have to, you know, take your mask off and set it down on the table or have it, you know, if you're trying to pull aside and take a sip of water, it's not like dangling and falling off of your one ear or anything. You can then just have it attached to the little chain so that it just like hangs around your neck. Um, they're really convenient for in the parks. So actually say so I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing and give her a shout out. She's been selling these on her Etsy shop. So I will link all of that down below. You can check her out and these are, look at her packaging too. I ordered three of these mask chains. I cannot believe her little packaging as well. It's super cute. So if you check out her Etsy, she has some pre-made mask chains that you can just go ahead and buy there. She also does custom order. So here, I'll show you. You can like request to have your name or she also can work with you. And she has a ton of different beads that she can do if you have a certain color scheme in mind or certain like pattern that you want she can work with you and you can like customize your own chain so let me show you this is the i cannot get over her packaging this is the little mermaid packaging but this one this is very appropriate because this is the one that i got um for myself in particular and it has mermaid pearls on it 
but here let me show you it actually she spelled out it actually says magical meg on it which i love and you can see here how it has the little lobster clasp so that it can hold on to a mask so there's this one that I got that has kind of the pastel and mermaid pearls. And she actually has Mickey shaped beads. That's the, the game changer with these is that they're actually Disney themed. So then this next one, how cute is this packaging? It is Princess Belle, which this one is actually the one that I ordered for my mom. And Belle is her favorite princess. So that is very good job, Alyssa. You have everything. So cutely packaged here and this one's cool it's kind of like a little bit of a thinner bead and you can see all the Mickey's that this one has and my mom's favorite color is pink so she had asked Alyssa for mainly pink tones in it pinks and some pastel to complement it okay and then the third one that I got look at this packaging it's a Mickey pumpkin and this one, if you can't tell from the Mickey pumpkin, it is Halloween themed. When Alyssa was taking me through all of her assortment of beads and I was kind of like picking out and customizing what I would want, I knew I wanted, cause we're gonna be there over Halloween. So I knew I wanted to order a Halloween mask chain. And this one actually has, what's Halloween about it, is these teal pumpkins which I think are just so cute. It's like total Cinderella vibes. And it also has the Mickeys on there as well in those orange tones. Super cute. So you see, I'll show you. This is like, this is actually one of the masks that my mom has been making for us. So we got Minnie Mouse there. So you just take the lobster clasp, you can attach your mask on. So then that way, once it is attached on there, can just wear it basically like a lanyard and you have your mask on there so that when you're wearing your mask it's like this and then if you want to take it off to eat or drink something it just hangs like that so you don't have to worry about juggling anything it's just right here so i'm excited about these super cute so that's the big announcement we are going to walt disney world right now when you are watching this so definitely be sure to subscribe if you would like to support me and support the channel please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well as leave some comments down below all of those things the subscriptions the likes the comments on these videos all of that truly does help out my channel and um, help support me so thank you so much i appreciate all of the love and support that you guys always give me and i am excited to be documenting another walt disney world vacation and taking you along on this journey and documenting everything from you know our road trip which i'm super excited to share you know all the parts of that share our stopover and hopefully savannah is where we're gonna land then Disney World and all the excitement there, the Florida adventures, and then our Walt Disney World staycation. I can't wait to share all of it with you. Thank you again for watching and make today magical. Bye guys, I'll see you soon.